Hej, hej, siemanko, z tej strony Mest, witam was w kolejnym odcinku Deus Ex. Kontynuujmy nasze śledztwo. Rozumiem, tutaj z detektywem. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. Hmm... There's no reason this should be complicated. Someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an AUG or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be. For 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <laughs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little Scoop friend it. over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Who binds Edna? Careful of the evidence. Away from the crime scene. Who do they hmm. think they are? Just because Montag trusts him doesn't mean I. I, I, I. No. Can't believe we got stuck down here. Uh huh. Away from the crime scene. Okay. It's always Jak się trochę coś jeszcze zregeneruje, zobaczmy. Tu jeszcze może być. More energy, okay. You think I don't know? Okay. <clears throat> the vodi. What's going on here? It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti aug politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? Mm. Sounds like someone should go after this guy, ask him some questions. 
That's exactly what I'm saying. Just... If you do that, please don't mention me. I don't want to end up like her. What else can you tell me about Radko? The guy's a sleazy piece of shit. That's all there is to it. And you think he's capable of murder? Absolutely. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. Hmm. Gruesome, isn't it? Okay, if this should not change. Inyak, okay. Just keep moving. Nick Dive. Bardzo dobrze, bardzo dobrze. To. Poprawkę. No, poprawki muszą chwilę poczekać. What? Najpierw zajmiemy się tym śledztwem. I see you. All areas are secure. Continuing general patrol Okay, I have a permit. It's not like they did not see me working here. Okay, no dobra, wiem, że tu są kurde jakieś takie ten pierdełki, ale nie musicie mi ich aż tak. Okay. Udałem się upewnić, czy dobrze się teleportujemy. Jedziemy pociągiem, nie teleportujemy. Też odrytowaną pozbawił pewnych części ciała. Ciekawe jestem, po co mu to w ogóle. No dalej, dalej, dalej. Okay, jestem, czy uda nam się zebrać wystarczającą ilość praksisów, żeby wpakować we wszystko. Będziemy bogiem. No, to by było coś, to by było coś. Nie powiem, że nie. Nie ma się ma. Nie, to jest pralnia, to jest odchody. Dzień dobry. Czy to bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Hmm. The dead one. The one whose body they found torn apart by some animal. She has a name, you know. Angie to those who knew her, Angela to you. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you. So, here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Mm. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
You're right. Let's keep this about you. You inside a crowded cell. Your face all over the news. How does that sound? Like a lot of hassle. No thanks. Angela's death inconveniences you. Yeah, well, it's been hard. Phone calls I don't want, and visitors I don't like or respect or want inside my home. Mm. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie, doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill? I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? <laughs> Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well... Guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of debt. Australia? You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. Anyway. O, oh, shit, nie wybrałem. O, oh, fuck. Ja, to jeszcze raz. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. Made me feel human. You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Put this on skin drawn spraver. St. Petersburg. And in the US. The documents causing several Fortune 500 companies to Sure, kick me son of a bitch. The collective is one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world. Skąd tutaj jeszcze ma szufladki? Nie, tego nie potrzebujemy. Delik. Brak miejsca. Tego tam nie widzi, bardzo dobrze. Tam gdzie muszę, sprawdzam. Nic nie ma. Why are you still here? I found a note from your doctor. You lost your hands in New South Wales. I got new hands in New South Wales is the way they sold it to me. Whatever else the killer did to her, Angela was strangled. Whoever did it left a partial print on her neck, which, apparently, you're not capable of. 
Oh, 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 fingerprints are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. You'll find not having them allows you to be so much more effective. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? <laughs> I didn't come here to arrest or absolve you, only to ask questions. Apology accepted. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone. Sure. Look at him. Yeah, yes, sir. It sounds like UN Resolution 350. The hell? Don't you think it's actually Oh yeah, okay, that would have been stunts. Okay. Maybe the solution the world is looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate what's become of the team. Alone in the room. Dobra, trzeba wrócić z powrotem. I zobaczymy co z tego wyjdzie. Na pewno nie był on, nie był ex mąż, bo nie ma rąk. Ludzkich rąk oczywiście. Także na pewno był to ktoś, kto miał ludzkie ręce. Mm -mm. Jestem, co z tego wyniknie? To się okaże mordercą. Hello, I thought it was around here somewhere. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. Hmm. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. Mm-hmm. A little bit rusty. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG. And that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help, and between you and me, because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. <laughs> People hold a hell of a grudge against hogs ever since the incident. Yes, and 
Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. Hmm. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Hmm. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Okay. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Hmm. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey. Not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? <laughs> I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Sounded like she might have seen something. Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good enough to talk to. Hmm. Okay. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Huh. The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the og removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder. That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. Hmm, okay. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. 
No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. Mm, I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. The killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist. Hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. Mm. Yeah. That's what I need for now. I should go. You do whatever you have to. Okay. Okay, okay. Zaraz kemperem musimy pogadać. Interpol. Who do they think they are? Something wrong? Zobaczmy co on ma nam do powiedzenia. Ale seryjny morderca? Który naśladuje jeszcze, to już w ogóle. Ciekawe, ciekawe. Coraz ciekawiej. Come on, you know how this goes. Appear in. Come on, come on, let's see them. If you don't want any surprises, you might want to be more specific. Shut up, Clank. I want your papers, not your opinion. Fuck me. We do not want trouble. There is no need to start any trouble, yes? You sure you don't want to see anything else? <laughs> Spread them. And Keep your mouth shut. Trash, but no trouble. Fucking all. Hands behind no your back. respect. Are you Radko Perry? If this is about that anti og speech I gave, save your indignation, okay? I'm only the voice of the people. I'm only saying what they want to hear. Your problem, it isn't with me. It's with the way this issue is polling. I'm here about Angela Gunn. Who? A journalist. She was found dead in an alley. Oh, how sad. But you wouldn't know anything about it. What? No. But the fact that you could imply such a thing. I am a public figure. But rest assured, my team will look into it. I'll even send the family a gift basket. How does that sound? Mm hmm. You owe the family a little more than that, don't you? I told you, I had nothing to do with whatever happened. Now, who are you? Why are you really here? I'm here because I heard Angela found skeletons in your closet. Well, lucky for me that she's dead then, huh? No, but seriously, what kind of skeletons? Is that all you care about? She was just murdered. You could show a little more compassion. Compassion is for the cameras, but hey, maybe you should be the politician. For a second there, I almost believed you care. Hmm. Tell me about your relationship with Angela. Angela? Angela who? Angela Gunn, the journalist who's apparently been writing some very insightful articles about you. Oh, her. She did a nice job of keeping my name in the news. Local politics is a real slog, you know. As long as they're talking about you, it's good. Even if she was saying things you didn't like? Sure, why not? Angela's readers were never my voters. I'm not exactly courting the org vote here. Did Angela and I share views? No. 
Did we like each other? Not one bit. But our hatred was professional, not personal. Nothing to kill over. Ooh, hashtag. Your politics are viciously anti Og, is that accurate? Viciously? I like that. Do you go out of your way to incite violence against Ogs? I wouldn't call it going out of my way. More like it's on my way. A flower you pick as you pass by. To be honest, my politics aren't even based on an ideology. It's very simple for me. I tell people what they want to hear, and I stay out of jail. You're not doing a very good job tonight. I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Can you tell me where you were tonight? Out getting vault. Can anyone attest to that? Sure. Any number of people. My secretary, my brother, my mother. I just need to call them to remind them they were with me. That's all. I'll make the calls. You worry about giving me a list of names and numbers. Sure. My office will forward you the information within two to three months. Two to three months. Scout's honor. <laughs> you don't think this is serious? I think murder is very serious. But the notion that I could be involved in one is not. So you're not going to tell me where you really were tonight? Evidently not. Ooh. You sure you don't want to rethink your fake alibi? Where I was tonight is none of your business. Sure you don't want to add anything about Angela? She got what she deserved, but not from me. You really hate Augs that much? Some more than others. Hmm. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Oosh. Turn around. It is still here, if you want to see it. You can choose to only show my shield, which is part of me. No trouble. Runie, dobra. Uboczne. Najs przekonujący do wody. Okay, to go. Przekinimy jeszcze tutaj. Don't go upsetting the real citizens, Clank. No dobra, ja tu z Interpolu jestem, weź pany, dobra. Um. A, tu, dobra. Tu mi każe iść. A, tu muszę jechać dalej. No dobra, ale sądzę, że w tym momencie zakończymy ten odcinek. Mm, także dzięki wielkie za oglądanie. Kurde, zawiesiłem się ostro. Jeszcze raz dzięki wielkie za oglądanie. Widzimy się w kolejnym odcinku. Trzymajcie się gorąco. Hej, hej.